Hey everyone, welcome to another video for the Enhanced and Edit. So today it's going to be showing you how to do um, the Topaz Clean or My Styles of Topaz Clean and if you don't have Topaz Clean, what to do. Um, so you've got your edit as you can see in front of me, I've just made this up um, and you want to go ahead and use a Topaz Clean setting. You don't know what to use, so this is what I'm going to be showing you. Um, first things are first, I'll suggest you finding a PSD that you like for your image to be put on. Um, See if this one from VK works. Not really. So we just play around with this PSD. But once you're happy with your PSD and everything, then obviously we can um I can show you what to do. I'm not really happy with that PSD. Let's remove that. Um, there was also something else I quickly want to do. Just thinking of this edit, here's me going, oh yeah, I'm happy with the edit, blah, blah, blah. <laughs> and I'm not happy. That's not surprising. Um, I'm just going to change the color balance of this so it's a bit more perfectly background to fit with the aesthetics of the image, if that makes sense. Um, and then I will Just remove her colouring. So if you didn't see what I just did, I duplicated the layer, uh, just that section, and then colour balance. And all I'm doing now is removing that colour balance from her skin. So it's just the background. Once you're happy with that, obviously then you'll click that, but uh, it doesn't matter. Anyway, so I'm just going to go over what I want to like with the filters. So you go to Topaz Clean or Fire Filter Topaz Clean. You've got all these options. I only have used Topaz Clean. All these are actually removed. They're not installed. Anyway, Topaz Clean. You've got various options. So you've got curly, you've got smooth, you've got electric shimmer. There are so many options. So what do you go for? It really depends on what kind of style you're looking for. I tend to go with curly smooth or electric shimmer depending on the style. So you, obviously you can see here the preview and it's quite, um, quite strong as you can tell. So this is where these on the right hand side come in. Um, I always tend to go strength down and then also accent down and then sharpness up like so as you can see. You can then adjust it from there uh, and play around with the levels like so and that's quite a nice one to be fair. You can add texture on if you want to like so and it just gives you like a cleaner effect like if you click on it that's what it looks like that's without so it's not major it's just a nice sharp like clean effect on it if you go for smooth then again you just play around with the layers I tend to go for about two maybe two up the sharpening down the radius might even go down on the strength on that because she looks a bit can you see what I mean? Like she looks too merged unless I turn the threshold down like so and then maybe up the texture and then if you're happy with that then click OK and that's with the filter on um, and then I would sharpen it so I've got a sharpening one here which was I think courtesy of BK and Vinyl Ends obviously just press OK and that's with a sharpening on top if you don't have um, Topaz Clean there are Topaz Actions uh, which do exactly the same thing. I have linked them in the um, in the server for you. Sorry, I forgot my words. I've linked them in the server for you, so obviously you can download them and install them. If you don't know how to add an action, click on your little action play button here, click on the arrows, and click load actions, and then you would find the actions in your download folder, and then load it in. And once it's loaded in, it will come in a folder like this, and then again, you just click like... I've just done you press select and it will do it for you um that didn't work at the time well it did but it didn't <laughs> so yeah that is pretty much that I don't even know where my layers came from now that's about the sharpening that's with the sharpening <laughs> there we go um and then obviously you can just add your um PSD colors on I might have to go for that one because it's more purple Just 
just the layers. Oh, I like it for that one. Just turn that down. There we go. And then you can tag it as you want to. So I hope that makes sense. And if you've got any questions, then do let me know. Um, like I say, I've put them all in the Discord server for you. They are ones that I've got personally downloaded and I have used before when I have Topaz. Um, I also do have a free Topaz tutorial, but it only works if you've got Topaz uh, Photoshop installed. If it's like actually installed onto your system and not a portable version, which means you just click on a file and open it, um, it will only work, unfortunately, for installed versions. So if you want that, I will upload that as well. So you've got it. And yeah, I hope this helps. And if you've got any questions, then let me know. Thanks for watching.